Welcome! In this video, you'll learn about OKHumane's OK Trap Neuter Return, also known as TNR, program for feral cats, and how we impact the lives of thousands of cats who live on the streets in central Oklahoma. Here's Dimitri, our TNR program manager, to show you what she does every day. I'm Dimitri Wyatt. I am the Trap Neuter Return Coordinator for the Central Oklahoma Humane Society. A lot of people don't know what TNR is, and what it is is actually we trap feral cats, we neuter them, we vaccinate them, and we return them back to their location. What I'm going to do now is I use tuna to bait the traps. Um, we bait the traps, we ask the feeders not to feed at least 24 hours in advance so the cats are hungry, um, and they'll go in the traps. This is your typical cat trap, and we just use some of the juice to get the smell going on it. Pretty easy to bait, actually. You just throw about a teaspoon of, or a tablespoon of tuna in there. And in the front, you can set several traps at once. Um, I usually set about three or four at one time and wait till those get full before setting more because you don't want to set too many traps. Um, after completing this, I just wait it out um, until we catch a cat, which then they go directly to the clinic, spend the night, the next day they have surgery, and they come back out the next night, spayed and neutered with their rabies vaccination. Pretty simple process. So a lot of people ask, well, what is a feral colony? A feral colony can be one cat. If it's a wild cat that somebody is feeding, that is a colony because cats to turn into 16 cats and it can go on and on and on. One cat's a colony, it's an area where the cat or cats live and are being fed by a feral feeder or caregiver, someone that cares for the cats and feeds the cats. Many people ask if the cats will be put to sleep once we catch them. This is absolutely not true. The only time we would euthanize a feral cat is if it had a life-threatening illness or injury that was causing the animal to suffer. We neuter the cats and return them to their colonies. Sometimes people think we can return the cats to a different area from where we trapped them. But cats are very territorial. If they live in a certain area, that's where they like to live. If you try to move them to another area, they might find another colony, but that colony will be territorial as well, and will usually reject the new cat, possibly even hurting or killing it. It would be great if all these cats had loving homes waiting for them, but these are wild cats. They've never lived in a home, and by the time they're a few months old, they generally can't be tamed. If we trap tiny kittens, usually we do try to socialize them and put them into our adoption program, but any cat over three or four months old is really not going to be happy living in a home. They are generally not considered adoptable animals. So far, what we do is directly when we catch them, we cover them up. Um, the reason we cover them up is because it's pretty stressful to be in a trap and have a big human looking over you, um, being a wild animal. So we cover them up. If you notice, as soon as you cover them up, they instantly calm down. So from this point, he's going to go up into the van, and we will take him directly to the clinic for surgery tomorrow. 